Have you ever built a grid layout using Beaver Builder columns and adjusted it differently from mobile devices only to find that you end up with gaps in your grid? I have and I see other people making the same mistake. The problem's not Beaver Builder. When we drag in columns, we are effectively dragging in column groups which work independently. By default, when we move to tablet and mobile size, Beaver Builder automatically stacks one column above the other. But if we want a different arrangement, say one where we start with an odd number of columns on desktop, perhaps three, and we want that to move to an even number on tablets, say two, then we need to set things up differently and add in some simple CSS. And that's what I'm covering here. If you are using my free Beaver Junction plugin, and I'll link to that below, I have included a template with some working examples. And if you're new here, I'm David Wormsey. I make websites for clients and I try and share what I've learned along the way. If you're a Beaver Builder user, you might want to consider clicking on the red subscribe button below. Anyway, let's get started. The notes for this are on the Beaver Junction site under templates and responsive grids. If you're using the Beaver Junction plugin, I've just added a page layout template, which you'll find under templates and design layouts. You'll want to append this to your page and then delete any of the rows that you don't need. And at the bottom of this page is the CSS that I'll be talking about in a moment. And I should mention here that when you're in the Beaver Builder editor and you go to columns, it only offers you a column group that goes up to six columns in total but once you've added those to your page you can duplicate those and go up to a maximum of 12 columns so that's what we've got to work with with responsive grids on the top here I have a link to a demo page which I'm actually using for this so let's quickly recap on the problem so what I have here is a grid of three and three and what I've done is I've used three columns and then another three columns over here, which is perfectly fine, looks fine on the desktop. And by default, Beaver Builder will just stack one column upon another as we move to smaller devices. But if we want to do something slightly different and go into our column settings and set those responsively to say, 50-50, we end up with a problem because we have a column of three. So it goes 50, 50, and then there's 50 below, and then there's a gap, and then the same thing happens below. So what we really need to do is we need to set things up so we have at our desktop size, those six columns there, and then we need to use the CSS to make that look like it's two sets of three. Then we've got the control over our responsive settings. So let me just show you that this does work. I've set this to 50-50, so it breaks to that, and then I've set at the mobile size to 100% and it falls down like that. So let's start with the easiest way to do this. So what I've got in this row is I've dragged in a column group of six and then I've duplicated another four here. So we end up with 10 and let's go into our row settings and under advanced, I've given this a class selector, which I've called row selector name. And by coincidence on my notes over here, I've also included this. So if I grab this bit of CSS here, now I could paste this absolutely anywhere I wanted, but I'm going to, for ease, go Control Y. I'm gonna put it in my layout. And as you can see, it's changed things there. So what's happening is that we've put a media query set to the default in Beaver Builder, which is the breakpoint where we turn into desktop, which is 992. You would need to change that if you set yours differently. And we are targeting the individual columns within that row, which I've named. So it's picked up on my row name and then it's targeting the columns and setting these to 20%. And I believe to overwrite anything in Beaver Builder, we do need the important tag to be there. So that's exactly what's happening and I can change those widths as I like. And now I can change any of these to whatever settings I want them to be on the responsive. The only snag with this very easy way of doing things is that it's going to affect all of the columns that are in that row. So if in that row we wanted a target title or some other text, then that's not really going to work too well. And that's why I've got the other example over here where I've actually targeted the individual columns. I've given them these names. You can give them any name that you want. So I'm going to go here and as I'm using the Beaver Junction 
template, I've also included another plugin, which is the Beaver Builder code settings plugin by the Beaver Builder team. So I can put the CSS directly into my rows, columns and modules, and it's in my row here. So as you can see here, I didn't need to put in a row selector because I'm working directly with the code settings plugin. And I've targeted each of these individually. And in this case, I've set these, there's 12 in total. So that covers all that were allowed and set that to 16.6 .6 recurring. If I want a different arrangement, let's say I want four lots of three, I can just go and change this out. And all being well, it should change first. There we are. And we have a different arrangement. And that's really all I needed to show you. I hope this was useful. If you did find it useful, then please give me a thumbs up on YouTube because it really helps me. Consider subscribing to the channel if you use Beaver Builder a lot. And thank you very much for your time today. I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye-bye.